Hi, this is Steve Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how you can use either a MIDI control input or keyboard input to create a shift function in your project. By shift function, I mean when shift is active, a given specified control or set of controls behaves differently from the original unshifted function. In this example, I'm going to use three separate control sources. The first one is my Innovation Launch Control. The second one will be my World Easy 9 controller, and finally I'll use a computer keyboard. I'm going to set up button 1 of my launch control as the key that actually outputs a character on my computer. When the shift function is inactive, it will put out the character A. When the shift function is active, it will put out the character B. The global variable GA will be used to control the shift state. If GA equals 1, then the project will be in the shifted state. Otherwise, it will be in the unshifted state. Button 2 of my launch control, when held down, will put the project into shift mode. When it is released, it will take it out of shift mode. Button 3 of my launch control will act as a shift toggle function. If I push and release it, it will put it into shift mode. Push and release again, and it takes it out of shift mode. Finally, I will show how my computer keyboard can also act as a shift control. Holding down the shift on the keyboard puts the project into shift mode, while releasing it will take it out of shift mode. I've already created a project and opened my default input MIDI ports, my launch control and my World Easy controller. I've created an INIT preset and a translator to set my variables initially to zero. In this case, GA will be zero, which puts it in the unshifted state. I've created a preset for my launch control, and then I've set up both the A and B inputs. If you'll notice, as you push the key, if GA is a one, it's going to output the value A. I duplicated the translator, for the same button, but in this case, if GA equals zero, it puts out a B. For the control functions on my primary controller, I've set up button two as a shift button. So you push the shift down, and it will set the GA variable to one if you're holding it down. Once you release it, it to takes it back to GA equals zero, which takes us out of the unshifted function. I've also created a shift toggle function on button number three. Pressing it once will toggle the state between one and zero of the GA variable. Now I set up my alternate MIDI controller, the World Easy controller, and I have a similar toggle type function on that button. Note that I've chosen in my preset the World Easy Controller as my default device for that preset only. Finally, we'll set up the computer keyboard so that a shift down on the shift key will set GA equal to 1. And by releasing that same key, it'll take GA back to a 0. This way I can use the computer keyboard as a shift function as well. As you can see, pressing the first button on my controller puts out an A. Pressing the second button and holding it, then pressing the first button, makes it put out a B. Pressing the third button will put it in a toggle state. If I press it once, it puts out an A. If I press it again, it puts out a B. As you see here, I can also use the shift function on my keyboard to alter the state of what it's putting out, an A or a B, depending on whether I press the shift button. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to reach us at www.bohm.com.